For me, physical literacy is about the confidence, skills and motivation to take part in activities so you become an effective human being. So it might be, can I sit down, can I do the ironing, can I dig without causing myself harm, can I drive a racing car, can I fly a, a jet fighter. It's that whole control over my body. It's a journey, so it starts as soon as you're born um, and continues. Um, and for me, we're trying to get children on that journey early, soon, so that they become physically literate earlier. I think we, we need to look at in physical literacy in, in, in not just being about you know, the physical aspect, but how that can improve other subjects and within my own particular school and with other practices I've seen about how we can affect change um, and engage all types of children in our school. We're looking to engage, we're looking to inspire. Um, you know, so there's many ways we can do that. You know, we can reinforce through physical literacy counting, multiplication of numbers, um, many target games, and that's just in, in, in numeracy. There's a plethora of opportunities that I think that um, physical activity can hugely improve all elements of the national curriculum. I've just recently been exploring a lot around um, health and what, how important it is to develop um, society's health. And physical literacy for me is the core to that because if you've got physically literate children, they're going to be physically active, they're going to be healthy, which will help longer term. You see the differences that physical literacy and the projects that are, have been taking place is having on children, seeing what they were like beforehand, you know, lacking confidence, lacking motivation, poor communication skills, and seeing the difference in just a very short space of time of what physical literacy can do. Um, it's so, so powerful and so, so inspirational. Physical literacy for me is about the holistic development of students and helping them along on their journey of discovery in terms of what skills they're capable of, what capabilities they are. If they start a journey on rugby or football or hockey or netball in school, that journey may well end up as rock climbing or mountain biking or something else, but it's giving them a confidence to discover where their future lies in sport and physical activity. And it's about as well giving them skills and confidence to be able to transfer things that they learn through that environment into other aspects of their learning throughout the school. Physical literacy is, is an outcome of, of high quality PE um, and if you get that right in a school it, you don't just get the rewards in a physical education lesson, you get the rewards across the school yeah. so you get that motivation, the drive, the enthusiasm, the want to, to come to school and to be fully engaged in learning and the learning process. So the rewards are enormous and, and they cross curricular whether they're primary or secondary. To be a physically literate child, it means that you're going to have higher levels of achievement and attainment um, as a result. And I just found, um, you know, through the physical literacy and the PES projects we've taken on, we've got more confident learners who are able to express and communicate their ideas. Physical literacy is absolutely vital within schools and for, for each child that I teach. Um, without it, they don't have the confidence in other areas of the curriculum to reach their potential, basically. Um, the Dragon Multi Skills that I've been working closely with is a massive tool for all staff to use, um, not only teachers but teaching assistants. And the children absolutely love using it and it does develop those key areas and improves motivation, confidence and their physical skills. This year we've been looking at um, how to explore physical learning uh, in my basic skills math set. So how to raise attainment in maths through using the multi-skills um, project. And we've looked at several children in my, in my class who have got barriers to learning such as um, behavioural issues and lack of concentration. And what we've done is we've dedicated one maths lesson each week to try and improve their numeracy by using the multi-skills package. We play a game called Crazy Capers. We take the learning outside of a traditional classroom environment, maybe into the hall or out into the yard, and we use um, movement and play and um, fundamental movement skills like throwing and catching and running and jumping. And then we try and weave in part of the national curriculum, and for me that's been uh, numeracy work. Overall, the aim of today was to share the good practice that's been happening and to go out on a wow factor. So in some of the rooms, there have been opportunities for people to learn more about the things that people have been doing. There's been the opportunity to talk to other practitioners, ask some questions, well, what did you do and how did that work and what about this? The hope is that people go away from here inspired and that they make small changes to what they do in school that will actually make a big difference to the lives of the children that they work with. I think something like today is really important because it gives us a chance to share our ideas and for us to learn from each other and hopefully we can drive forward the physical literacy programme which is really important. 
I've seen today some fantastic examples where physical literacy has, has benefited pupils in terms of their physical literacy and their physical activity generally, but more impressive, I guess, that is the impact that it's having on numeracy and literacy and the, the, the wider kind of outcomes within school. You know, if, if we keep still um, or we keep quiet on, a, on something which is so good, then we're doing a disservice to many of our children. And I think for us, uh, it's a really opportunity for us to share the good practice that I've heard today. We're really hoping that this is a springboard and launch pad for people so that they go away from here, they make contact, they get in touch with people, there is some school to school support going on, they go and find out more um, and they actually do something and take some action and so that there is more physical literacy and more opportunities in school.